Hey guys, uh, this is Patrick. I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial of our new leave management system. So, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you can see here I'm on the maintenance page uh, for the default company, which is Sprout Solutions. Um, you get to here by, by clicking maintenance and then company, and then uh, by default, it selects the, the first company in the system and the company tab. Now we've added something over here called leave types and policies where you can configure your leaves. So here we are on the uh, leaves page. Um, you can see Sprout Solutions, leave types and policies. Now I just want to explain uh, from a high level the structure of this page, okay, because it's important to understand uh, how we've set it up structure-wise. So the way it works is you have leave types. Um, now typically those are the dole prescribed leaves like maternity, paternity, uh, improperly grouped here into one leave type, uh, sick, sick leave, solo parent, vacation, violence against women, Magna Carta, ganyan, ganyan. So these are the lead, different leave types. Now, within the leave type, you have leave plans. And you can have multiple leave plans uh, for a single leave type. For example, we have a vacation leave, and we have two different plans within the vacation leave, uh, within the vacation leave type. Now, an employee can only be subscribed to one plan uh, per type of leave. So that prevents like different rules from conflicting. So uh, for example, if we have the default vacation leave policy, then the next plan will be the, uh, the exceptions to that default. So the default applies to everybody. And then maybe we have a manager's vacation leave type, which all the managers are subscribed to. So they're no longer in the default, they're in the manager's uh, leave plan. So I just wanted to make that distinction. You can create new leave types here if you have a, a different kind of leave and then you can create plans within the leave type and, uh, and apply those plans to different groups of employees. So to show you how to set up a plan, uh, let's just say um, I have a sick plan and it's the default sick leave policy and it applies to everybody in the company, maybe. Uh, now I wanna make a new plan. So I'll click uh, new plan and it'll take me to the uh, plan configuration page. Now here uh, all I have to do is answer a series of questions and then assign the plan to a group of employees and then I'm good to go. So uh, first is setting the name new leave plan. Let's change that. Let's say uh, managers sick plan. Sick plan. Uh, maybe manager sick leaves. Okay. Manager sick leaves. Kind of a funny name. Okay. So do you want to set accrual rules or would you prefer to manage leaves manually? Well, managing leaves manually sucks. Let's set up some rules. So first effectivity date has to be sometime in the future. Um, let's say 24th of June. So do you have separate policies for probationary and regulars? Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, we do. Now you can see as I click the answers to these questions, additional um, questions pop up depending on what I choose. So in this case, we have some uh, probationary rules and then some once they're regularized rules. So, so for our probationary, let's see, we do credits are given up front. Um, total sick leaves up front, we're going to say we give three days right when we hire them. Can unused sick leave be carried over once regularized? I'm going to say no. We have a use it or lose it policy for probies. Can a new employee file a sick leave immediately? Uh, let's just say no. Um, we don't want them to file for at least, say, 10 days. Maybe you say the first month, 30 days, whatever it might be. Um, so when does the probationary policy expire? So basically this is asking how long is your probie period? 
Now for us it's six months, so we'll just set that there. Now we get to, once they're regularized, what happens? So we're not going to do credits up front. They were already given that when they were probies. Let's do um, a credits accruing over time. So for us, we get 1.25 credits per month, and it accrues every first of the month. Okay, that looks good. When does it accrue? Uh, renew, sorry. Um, the plan renews on, not on the hiring anniversary, not on the start of the year, not never. Um, it renews, uh, for us, it renews every 1st of February. Can unused sick leave be carried over upon renewal? Uh, actually, it can. Maximum credits can be carried over. Uh, let's just say five. And they expire. You know, we can make them not expire, but let's just say, um, actually for us, it's three months later, so that's May 1st. So after three months, those expire. So on May, they're done. Can a new employee file a sick leave? If, somebody, if an employee gets immediately put in uh, regular status, um, no, we said 10 days from hire date if they're immediately regularized. So, request filing. Does this policy allow late filing? So you guys may recognize this from the leaves questionnaire that we used to use. So that's no longer uh, being used. Um, I'm going to say no. Um, they have to file at least three days in advance of, of rendering the leave. What's the longest consecutive number of days an employee can file for? Um, yes, we do have a max, and it's a maximum of five consecutive calendar days. Uh, actually, it's work days for us, so I'll just change that to working days. Can employees file for future leaves against future credits? So what this means is our system's pretty smart. So it knows that you know three months from now you're going to have those accruals um, for the three months in between now and then. So if you want to file for a vacation or a sick, well, obviously this doesn't really pertain to sick leaves, but let's just say um, if you're going to file in advance, you can file three months from now and use those credits that you are going to, going to accrue during that time. So can employees use in advance leave credits that they have yet to be earned? So this is basically negative leaves. Um, so yes, I can, you know, in our policy, I'm going to say no. So we don't allow negative leave credits. Uh, there's a subtle difference between these two. You can hover over the questions to get more info, uh, and it gives you a nice example there. So is attachment mandatory for, man mandatory for filing a leave? I'm going to say yes, since it's sick leave. And uh, that's, that's the questions. So now the plan is done. Um, now I need to assign it to a group of employees. So we have this nice list here. So this is all my employees. Um, and then I can filter. Now I'm calling this the manager sick leaves, right? So let's apply it to manager. So we go to employee level. Let's select manager. And yun, we have our three managers. So let's click here, here, and here. Uh, and then we're going to click OK. So quick note, guys, employee level is new in the system. Uh, I think everybody's going to like this. You can now tag employees as rank and file, manager, or officer. Uh, that's, and, and then you can run filters based on those and searches and assigning and all this kind of thing. So I think that's really neat. Um, so I've selected managers here and now I'm going to click OK and now you can see my plan assignment has been assigned to the three managers so now I'm just going to hit save and it's going to take me back to the leave page and I'll show you now here I have two sick plans uh, one applies to 28 employees and the other the managers only so that is quick and dirty how to set up uh, new leave plans in the system. Uh, with this policy, I hope to cover all of your uh, different ways that you guys do leaves. I know it's a little complex. Obviously, if you guys have any questions, reach out to us. My team's happy to uh, help you guys out. So have fun. Cheers.